Hey guys, back with another video, and I, I, I want to make this video for a specific reason. Pele is, my what I think, the best player of all time. Because, like, he's won three World Cups with Brazil. I'm actually wearing a Sao Paulo jersey my team in Brazil. And he's one of my favorite players of all time. And he, even right now, because... He's done some amazing things. He won three World Cups. He's won. He's done some incredible things. And I just think he's he's been amazing. But r recently in the news, that he's he's been to the hospital lately, and apparently he's had um he's had he's had, he's been recovering from a colon tumor, a tumor problem, um in his body. So and he's eighty one. He and so yeah. He has been, he is 81, so he's, he's kind of, he is older than most people, let's just say that. But yeah, um, he is an amazing player. He's one of my favorites again, and he's doing great things at Santos, at New York Cosmos, and up at the Brazil national team. So yeah, he is in doubt one of the greatest players, if, if to me the greatest of all time. Edson Arantes, the... Nascimento is a great player. That that is is a legend. So yeah, that's by the way, that's Pele's full name. Edson Arantes de Nascimento. That's his full name. He is n in no doubt a legend. And yeah, he's done great things in Brazil. His first World Cup was in 1958, and he also he started in I think 1956. No, 1957. You want to know a fun fact? His first match was a 2-1 defeat against Argentina on July 7th, 1957 at the Maracanã. In that match, he scored his first goal uh, for at age 16 years and 9 months old. And he remains the youngest goal, goal scorer of all time. Of all time! Like, that's... that. This is back in like 1957, and he still holds that record. At 16 years and 9 months old. That's that's crazy. That that's absolutely crazy. And in 1958 World Cup, so he actually arrived there with a knee injury, but he came back. So yeah, he he's actually the youngest player to play in a World Cup final match at 17 years old, and he's one of the and he scored two goals against Sweden and a 5-2 win over Sweden in that game. Um. And, yeah, so they, he scored two goals in the World Cup final at 17 years old. Top notch. So, yeah, and then, so, yeah, Pele, he, he had a great World Cup. Um, He scored, oh, wait. He actually scored a hat trick, I think, in the World I think, yeah. Yeah, against France in the semifinal, Brazil was, was leading 2-1. And then Pele scored a hat trick, becoming the youngest World Cup his. Becoming the youngest in World Cup history to do so at like 17 years old. Like, even Mbappe didn't have, even Mbappe, he, he scored in the World Cup final, I think, Mbappe at 19? I want to say 19. 19 or 18. Probably scored at 17, I think, in the World Cup final. And, and has, has is the youngest player to ever play on the national team and score a goal at 16 years old and 9 months. So, yeah, that's crazy. Um, uh, they, yeah, Brazil won the 1958 World Cup, they will win the 1962, they will win the 1970. And he won three out of the four World Cups that he was in, except in 1966 when they lost in like, the quarterfinals, I think, to England? Lost against England. And at Santos, it was also a pretty good time. He, um, he began playing for Santos at 15, and then he came at 16. Um, he's actually the all-time leading goal scorer. For Brazil, like seven, 77 goals in 92 games. Um, he's also the all-time goal scorer for Santos with 640, 640 goals in 659 matches. Um, so yeah, they won. He won the Copa Libertadores in 60, 1962 and 1963, and and, and he did some really good sim stuff. He left um, Santos in, in 1974. Um, to go to Cosmos for 1975. He would do some great stuff at Cosmos too in 1975 and 1977. And again, soccer in the U.S. 
It was, it was not even popular. Like, it maybe held to 10,000 people, maybe 5,000 people in the stands. And it really wasn't popular. And then Pele just came into the came into America, came with the Cosmos, and won a lot. I think he won, like, two trophies, like, two cups there. And, he, and this, like, started the era of kind of, like, the American League. But, again, the MLS would only start in 1994. Back then, it was, like, the American League or something like that. The MSL, I think. I'm not sure. But, um, but yeah, again, now we're going to go into right now what's going on. So, right now, Pelly's been kind of, like, suffering from some, like, health problems. Some health problems. Um, he recovered, again, he, he recovered from a colon tumor. And this was only just two days ago. He came out of the hospital, like, two days ago. And, yeah, he goes to the hospital usually a few days. And he was, he was just charged at the hospital, like, on last Thursday, I want to say. Um, after, and he, after undergoing two days of chemotherapy treatment, um, he had to have surgery to remove a colon tumor in September. And has, and, um, he, he goes to the hospital usually regular, yeah, regularly. Um, so yeah, that's a little worrying. And again, he's 81, so he's got to go to the hospital regularly because you're going to, you know, never mind. And then, so yeah, he, he, he and he's, he's done pretty well. But he, he's had to go for some surgery, I and mean, he's had a bit injuries, like, um, with, like, some of his body, uh, with his body. So, yeah, it's been, and I, 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 I hope him a speedy recovery. I just want to say, Pele, I hope you get a speedy recovery, because this man is a legend in my heart, because I think he's done some great things for World Cup in Santos. Um, so, yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. Just a short little video of Pele's, like, career in brazil and Biz santos and how he's doing now i i i i hope everyone does and i hope everyone thinks this but i hope that polly has a speedy recovery and i hope he gets back soon good well i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys next time see ya